Okay, so here's a very simple question where we just ask to find the general solution for this expression. Um, in other words, we must solve for what values of t will this be uh, left-hand side be equal to the right-hand side. Now, um, we, we know our steps is first to uh, solve or to find a single trig a single trig ratio equal to a constant and that we have okay this is what we got here the second step would be our reference angle okay and that's what we get using our inverse functions our reference angle is the inverse function of negative 0 comma 648 now here you notice that cos of t is and gives me a negative answer so that means that t must be a, a, a value in one of the quadrants where cos is negative now in which quadrants are cos negative okay cost cos is negative in this quadrant and in that quadrant in the second and third quadrant well let's see what happens if I find my reference angle using my calculator so I have 0.648, I include my negative, okay, so that negative is going to help my calculator or indicate to my calculator that we need a reference angle that considers, considers the negative. So inverse cause, that gives me 130.39, 130.39, comma three nine degrees so this is my reference angle in which quadrant is that well that's clearly second quadrant it's more than 180 less than um, sorry more than 90 less than 180 so that's second quadrant for you okay now for my general solution my general solution and here it doesn't matter whether that is positive or negative I am only going to use positive quadrants okay so in other words my t is equal to first quadrant reference angle plus 360 degrees times k or t is equal the quadrant where cos is negative is in uh, sorry not where cos the other quadrant where cos is positive is in the fourth quadrant okay so in other words negative the reference angle plus 360 degrees times k okay so the first one reference angle is 130 degrees comma 39 plus 360 degrees times k or in this case now we get negative 130 comma 39 degrees plus 360 degrees times k and here you notice that even though I am using the quadrant where cos is negative my reference angle, uh, sorry, is positive, I mean, my reference angle is large enough, okay, so that it is more than negative 90, it is in the quadrant where cos is indeed negative. So, both this solution, where t is there, all of these solutions will be second quadrant, all of these solutions will be third quadrant, and all I had to remember was the quadrants where cos is positive. Let's look at a few more.